So guys, that, that's our training. You know, it doesn't get any more complex than that. I just want to emphasize a couple points real quick, and I'll go through some slides really quick. Um, but you know, what you just, what you guys just saw, it's available if you have a pen and pad. GST.bysalas.com. It's our getting started training site. GST.bysalas.com. As soon as somebody signs up, they're watching that video. What does the video show someone? How to become a rising star director in their first week. If they follow, we'll just share. Why is that important? Because it's the first pin level, and most people will get their money back there. Okay? Our whole message from a business standpoint is stars and cars. So we want to get people to get their money back and then help their people do the same thing and just keep on paying it forward, and that's how people advance. Okay? So that's our whole training uh, system. And you know, a little bit on our story, you know, we got started about 15 months ago and started promoting the challenge. And guys, in our team, there's you know close to about 250 people that are qualified for a BMW. There's almost a thousand rising star directors that people that are qualified. Um, hey, hey, you up there? I know. Uh, <laughs> and um, so you know everything, guys. I'll tell you, like most of what's happening, for the most part, because I can't make everybody do what we're doing, right? But most of what we're happening and, and the duplication that's happening, the big checks and and the the told you so's and all that stuff, and that's just little snapshots. Is because everybody's following the system. If somebody calls me and says, Freddie, what are you doing now? I say, I'm promoting a challenge. So that's what we do, right? We promote a 90-day challenge. And when somebody says, well, what's that all about? I'm like, you got a few minutes? I'm putting them on the line. line. I'm then asking them, what did you like best about what you just heard? And then I'm directing them to a video. That's it. You will never hear me explain anything. But Freddie, hey, Freddie, I have my friend Tom. And, and I, OK, great. Well, Tom wants to know about the challenge. And I'm like, well, Tom, what have you heard about our company? Nothing. I'm like, oh, you got a few minutes? Hold on. Click, I will put them on the byline. That's how I do it. I don't get into no explanation. After they've heard everything and seen the video, if they have specific questions, I mean, I'm not, you know, obviously I'm gonna go there, but for the most part, I will always try to utilize some tool or someone else. Because at the end of the day, what, what's, what, what's, you, you, you gotta always gotta look at everything with the end in mind. What's the big picture? I want thousands and thousands and thousands of people to do exactly what I'm doing. And if people say, wow, Freddie, you know, Told me about this challenge and I asked him what it was about, got me a phone call. He then asked me what I like best about it, sent me to a website. He then followed up with me and said, hey, you ready to get started? I said, no, I have a few questions. Got me on the phone with somebody else. And I got in. Now that person's thinking, I can do what Freddie did. How much is Freddie making? I can get people on that phone call. I can ask them to get on it better than him. I can get them on that video. And I can definitely get them on the phone with that person to answer questions. I can do this all day long. The reason we're succeeding is that most people feel comfortable promoting the challenge, sharing it. Because they don't have to be explaining and memorizing and, and anything. They're just leveraging up, pointing people to tools. That's all we're doing. And that's what Nick was talking about with the whole I found out. So our whole business, guys, our whole business, if you learn nothing as far as like promoting the challenge stuff, everything is on that video I just told you. GST.myself stuff. Everything. Those 12 minutes, that's all you need to know to get to the top of pin level. But Freddie, there's got to be more. It can't be that simple. Come on, man. There's more strategies. Yeah, there's some things, but you know what? If you don't master this and you don't get duplication going on with this, nothing else matters, guys. Nothing else. Nothing. Nothing else matters. Nothing else. So this, basically, somebody gets started, it says seven days to direct. So the goal is to become a rising star director. You get there, now pay it forward. Help your people get there, the ones that want to do it, right? I mean, sometimes we bring someone and they say, yeah, yeah, and they disappear, right? So, you know, those people don't want to do it, right? Work with the ones that want to do it, help them get there, right? <coughs> help a few people get in the car. I mean, uh, rising star, you qualify for the car. Now you qualify for the car, find out who your team wants a car. And that's how you move up in ranks, guys. Our whole system from a compensation plan st standpoint, and Nick said it on the video, the original video, stars and cars. When somebody asks me what's your compensation plan, I say three for free, stars and cars. I don't go into the numbers because it's not necessary. Because nobody has a message like us that we can kind of, you know, say it in pictures, right? <laughs> stars and cars. I mean, it's, it's something very simple. The last component of our business is events. We're going to have a big regional event uh, in February. I don't know if it's 11. the first or second. 11. And actually, it was in Jacksonville. It may no. be changing to Orlando. I'm no, not sure changed. yet. It did? It, it changed. It's in Orlando. Orlando. It's in the flag. And I'll give you the website on it. But guys, I'll tell you, when I got started, one of the reasons I had massive success that first month that we decided to hit hard was because I asked Nick, you know, what do I got to do to the system? And he said, Freddie, if you really want to explode this business, make sure that you not only go to that uh, regional that's coming up this week, but get a van and load it up. Mm -hmm. In that van was Brian Spooner, Brian Brad Bills. In that van was Ibrahim. And Robert. And Robert Tomas. 
90 some percent of our team right now, the explosion we have came from that van. And those people that back then, our first week, saw the picture, the big picture of this company said, that's it. <laughs> Robert Tomas did what he did in spite of all his obstacles and all his challenges because he saw the big picture. And he wasn't gonna let anyone steal his dream. Didn't care who came in, who came in and quit, who didn't come in, he didn't care, he was just gonna keep on sharing. And look at him, look, look now. I don't think this is. Guys, everybody has challenges, guys. Uh, you know, maybe his at some point was a little more intense than some of us, right? But that's life. We all have stuff that happens, okay? So this is our business, guys. This is how it works. Um, this is not something I want to share right now. We're not going to be here forever. <laughs> um, simple stars and cars. So director, if, if we're going to talk about what it is, just so you're clear, director means you have three active legs, three people on your front line. So you might want to write this down. If you guys have this training document, which is at gst.vaisalas.com, I, I wasn't able to get the copies out, but it, it's basically the visual that's there. Three promoters and two thousand dollars in volume. Okay, that volume can come from your purchases. It can come from your distributors' purchases, their customers, other distributors. It can be from your customers. Two thousand dollars in total volume. You become a director. And you need to be yeah, but, but it doesn't. Uh, 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 what kind of promoters? Uh, the basic promoters, or they need to. If it's a yes, basic yes. promoter, they have to be active. So active means they have over one hundred twenty-five dollars in volume. So if somebody comes in at the forty-nine and adds ninety-nine, they're active. If they come in at forty-nine and don't add anything, they're not active. Okay. So those don't got it. Yeah. Uh, most people get started with four ninety-nine overall. Yeah. So you know that's not a point, but if they don't, that that would be the the bare minimum. The car. Um, I don't, I don't want to get into this. Hold on one second. The car, let me explain this real quick, is 12,500 in volume. So when we say help six people get to Rising Star, each Rising Star is $2,000. So that's $12,000. And you came in at $499, right? Or you have a few customers that total that, you qualified for the car. That make sense? Yes. Okay. Uh, average income there is uh, an extra thousand to two thousand, maybe three thousand dollars, depending on how you're building the business. Uh, and there's a low uh, rank criteria there, but that's it. If you just focus on stars and cars, you don't talk about this money, you just help everybody get to their number, you, you get to yours. See how we simplify it? Like some people say, well, show me, these are the details, but it's easier to explain it, stars and cars, okay? Um, the BMW bonus, how that works, people are asking me, you know, once you qualify, you know, we get paid weekly. Let's say, you know, anything that happens from Friday to Thursday, you get paid on Monday. So let's say you qualify for the car by Thursday, you'll get paid $300 on Monday on top of your check. And once you show them the company that you have a BMW that's either silver, green, or black, they will give you an extra $300 every month. Um, so for the total 600. That's how that works. Okay, everybody clear on that? All you have to show is that you have a BMW. It doesn't necessarily have to be on your name. If it's not under your name, there's a, in the paperwork that they have, it, there's a, like a waiver. Somebody can sign off and say, "Hey, Freddie's driving. You know, I, I got the car because you know my credit or whatever, but it's his car, and you know, and they'll still pay." So the the, the, the qualifications are not very complex. They're they're not you know doing all kinds of stuff. So it's it's pretty neat. Very simple, straightforward uh, program. Um, let me go through the ranks real quick, only so you see income. I think people want to see this. National director is forty thousand dollars in volume. Help three people become get their car. Three times twelve and a half. It's 37 with some customers. You know, help some of the people and get in the car. Average national director, 2,500 to 4,000. You guys saw a bottle up here. He's a national director, okay? Mm -hmm. Presidential, help seven people get in the car, approximately. You don't have to get people in the car, but guess what? If you're gonna move up in ranks and, and, and it's a team effort, don't you wanna bring some people with you? Absolutely. Yeah. The victory is sweet if you have people winning with you versus you're the only one that's winning, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's kind of our philosophy and everything. So if you notice that, mm -hmm. Presidential director is winning an extra four to six thousand dollars a month, plus depending on what it is. Our first month, that's what we hit. Our first month that we started hitting, he hit national director, we hit presidential, and we had a bunch of cars. We had like seven cars in our team. Okay? That was our first month that we decided to pursue it, right? It's not when you get in, it's when you decide to pursue it. You know, because we got in two months before, we're doing it. So I called Nick and I said, hey, we're gonna do it. And that's how we start pursuing the business. Ambassador, you guys saw Robert, uh, $150,000 in volume, helped 12 people get in the car. Forget about the 150,000, help 12 people get in a car, we just help six people get their money back. Stars and cars. Now you're, you're getting to that six figure income. Because we've got two ambassadors in our team uh, in, in Mississippi, they have a full time job earning uh, a little bit more than the average high income of an ambassador, part time. 
because they're utilizing the system, guys. That's all they do. And everybody in their team, you know, even if it's a little bit, everybody's doing a little bit, but everybody's following the system because everybody can do it. That's why we're winning, guys. So I hope you get that. Ambassador, I'm showing you this just to stretch your vision where the money's at because, you know, we, you don't see this in the presentation. And so you guys stay for the trade? Oh, sure. Uh, once our ambassador, you know, once you become an ambassador now, it's, let's help some people become ambassadors. You have, you always have to have three people on your front line in our company, right? Um, once you break one ambassador, and you're, you're an ambassador, but you break one ambassador in your team, you become what's called a one star. One stars are earning an average of $15,000 to $20,000 a month, and, and it varies by its structure, maturity, group, etc. There's a lot of factors, but that's a ballpark figure. Two star, now you're in the $20,000 to $30,000 a month range. Your brain is very happy. <laughs> Woo! Um, <laughs> three star, we're <laughs> shopping. Three star is thirty to forty thousand dollars a month. Guys, things are getting a lot more serious. You're earning more in a month than the average person earns in a year. Yeah. All right. Hello. I mean, well, how would your life change right now if you're in monthly what you're in annually? <laughs> On the side of whatever you're doing. <laughs> what do you think I'm running? Who cares about the side? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, three star, thirty to forty thousand dollars a month. Ambassador, four star, fifty to seventy-five. Uh, five star, seventy-five to hundred. Guys, it's all about helping other people. Who wants it? Let's run with it. That's it. At every level, who wants it? Let's run with it. Um, so six stars equal a car. Twelve ambassadors. I mean, twelve cars equal an ambassador. Five ambassadors, which is a five star. You create your dream life. I mean, if you're earning six figures a month. I'm not saying money is everything, but all of a sudden money is not an option, not a challenge anymore. So you don't do things because of money, right? You can do what you really want to do, whatever your true passion is, because money's out of the way. How many individuals are able to do what they truly, truly want right now because money's not an issue? It's, you know, if, if I'd ask in general, I don't want to put people's, most people would say, no, I no, right? Chances are you're doing something right now because <laughs> you need to put some food uh, on the plate for your house. You have to pay rent. Not because it's your ideal job or whatever. I mean, obviously you, you try to make the best of it because you know you got a job or whatever. But that's not what you really want to do, right? So what would you do, right? It's possible, guys. We've got folks uh, doing it at a very high level. Um, let's go real quick. Boom, boom, boom. So there, let me just hit on these points. So somebody gets started, right? The first goal is to make that list. I'm gonna give you advice. Who wants to hit the car or move up in, in ranks here? Me. Right? This, this is my million dollar advice. Somebody gets started, sit down with them, watch that video, and do number one. We're gonna make that list of 25 people. Oh no, I, you know what? Let me get home and think about it. No, no, give me your cell phone. <laughs> you said you wanna do this, we're gonna do this, right? If you wanna do this, let's do this. Make a list of 25 people, go through that list. Sit down with them and make that list. Second thing, <clears throat> challenge party. Book it right away. Right away. If it doesn't get booked right away, it's not going to happen. We call it forced accounting. You've got to do it right away. If you don't do it, people will never get around to it, right? <laughs> but, well, maybe next week. That's a holiday. Maybe next week. No, no, right away. And when you're booking it with somebody, if he's getting started and I'm going to do a challenge party with him, I'm thinking in my mind, okay, wait a second. Monday, oh, my daughter has ballet. I can't go Monday. Wednesday, we've got church, so Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday, 7 o'clock, what's best for you? I'm going to give him two options based on my development, what makes sense for me, right? And he's going to decide what's best. And we're doing the challenge party at his house. Why at the house, guys? Because that's where people are more comfortable. Now, you might say, well, my house is too small. Well, everybody knows your house is too small. Well, my house is dirty. Who cares? Your friends know you have a dirty house. Just do it there. <laughs> they know. So what's the big deal? <laughs> Nothing's going to change. So get them there, right? Maybe you'll get motivated now to make some money so you can get there. So I, I just share that with you because, guys, people are more comfortable with the house is what I'm trying to say, right? If they come to a hotel, it's not the same thing, right? It, it, as a second exposure, that's fine, but not the initial exposure, okay? Um, so that's the, the, the second thing. The third thing is the pre-party, guys. Um, the pre-party, you saw Nick talking about it, guys. This is how we promote the whole challenge. Whether you're doing a challenge party or you're just exposing someone to the information, the pre-party is where it's at. I'll tell you, if you invite people here tonight to an event, and yes, Freddie's going to be here, Milton and Ibrahim and all these people and these new stars and new cars, that's great. But if somebody has not seen the information before they come, they got to go home and think about it. Because we live in a Google world, and when something sounds too good to be true, let me research it. It's the reality. I mean, that's, that's how we operate in this world today. People Google everything, right?